Hi. So I had an idea to try to make another custom mold. You know how I like to play. So I just took one of these cheap dollar store cutting boards. I use them all the time for molds, different things. And I rolled it up. I cut it to, to width of this mold. I cut it to width and then rolled up one end of it and pressed it down in here. Okay. So as you can see, it's just, oops, sorry. It's just rolled up in there and I've got it, got it rolled and on one end. Basically what I'm going to do is these little frogs are always getting in my way. They just show up. It's the oddest thing when I'm working. Okay. I think he's missing his friend that I shipped to Marianne. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here is to try to uh, pour in this mold a color. And I, I'm going to start with just black and white. Not black and white. Yes, black and white. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I, uh, I'm going to do a activated charcoal half and then let it set up, take it out of the mold, and then pour in the white, which will be uh, zinc oxide. Sorry, I just went blank for a moment. So um, stick with me and let's have some fun. I think that we can... Uh, Come up with something very interesting here. So let me know if you uh, watch the video, give me a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks everyone. I'll see you in a minute. And I'm not adding any fragrance to the white. I'm just keeping this just pure. Because this is just a test of the mold more than it is anything else. It's not really about what it turns in. But I am going to you know what? I am going to fragrance it. I'm going to use rosemary. We were all talking about, that was part of the contest. We were talking about fragrances, uh, essential oils, and I have actually a little bit of rosemary. So let me pour in the rosemary. Let me put in some TD. And give it a whirl. You know, I'm not sure how this is going to work or if it's going to work, but I'm going for it. What do I have to lose, right? I'm going to set this back inside the mold. This time with this side down and it is so soft. Um, there. And I'm just going to let that set up or set up to the wrong word. I'm going to let it just do its thing for the rest of the day, dry out before I pour the next, the other part, the black part. I know it's not all that pretty right now. Um, this was an experiment. Um, but I've got some big pieces of soap like this left over. and uh, So those will be rebatched with the one I'm about to do anyway. I do need to cut this a little more evenly. I hate to do anything to it right now. But at the same time, now that it's soft, it's the easiest time to deal with it. 
See, fool, I, I got fooled because I put it in the freezer. And um, I thought it was fully hardened. Well, as soon as it started thawing out, I'm just trying to even up the side here a bit. Um, as soon as it <laughs> thawed out, it was still soft. And so getting this out was a much more of a task. And I just didn't want to put you through having to watch me fight this thing. Okay, so I changed my mind. I shouldn't hold that over the So I changed my mind and I'm going from activated charcoal. I changed my mind and I'm going to do blue indigo. Okay. So there's my indigo powder. And I'm going to give that just a whisk before I add in my lye water. I just want to make sure that that is well blended before I add this in and pour it into the mold. And you know, I have no idea how this is going to work. This was an experimental mold, which I love doing. But I see here, because of the way I did the mold, that I created a space behind. So that means some of the black is going to end up in the back. I'm not really concerned about it too much. It's not exactly what I wanted. But I think we might come up with something interesting. We'll see how it turns out. Now I'm going to fragrance this. Since I fragranced the white with rosemary, I'm going to do patchouli. Blue patchouli just makes sense to me. So again, I'm going to get that blended into my oil. That's it. She's emulsified. So here we go. I really hope it's okay to be pleased by one's own work because <laughs> I love how these turned out. Do you see the wave of light? It's upside down. But <laughs> I just was really pleased with how these turned out. Isn't it amazing what you can do with a piece of plastic? So I won't bore you with all the cuts here, but I want to talk to you just a bit and just tell you I'm so pleased that you're here. Now, one thing you can do to help me, if you don't mind, is if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. I try to put up new content regularly. I try to do original work that I hope you'll enjoy. And... Um, if you would, go ahead and subscribe, like the video. Well, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and hit that little bell. I know it seems like a little thing, but for we YouTubers, that helps us in the eyes of YouTube. And leave a comment, even just a hello or a smiley face. I really would appreciate it. So give me any suggestions you have, uh, any feedback about this. Do you like it? And finally, a question. What is your favorite color? Please put that in the comments. Very important. Something, a big surprise is coming up for you all. So just tell me your favorite color. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.